What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And a while back I had a subscriber ask me what my kitchen must-haves were. This was a few months ago, so I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around with this. For everybody watching this, these are my kitchen must-haves. These aren't anything that you necessarily have to have in your kitchen, but they are definitely things that put in work in the No Hippie Barbecue kitchen. Anyway, let's get on with it. Yes, cookware is a definite must-have for me. As a matter of fact, I use this Dutch oven so much that it basically just stays on top of my stove. This is what they call the original nonstick right here. As far as cast iron goes, I wouldn't go buy brand new cast iron cookware just because it costs so much money. You could, I think I bought this entire set for, I think, $20. Uh, these are, you know, I have the smallest one. I have two large ones, which is a pretty popular pan and then or you know skillet and then i have uh, another one that's called well-rounded barbecue really the uh the company doesn't matter i mean cast iron is pretty much cast iron but these things are definitely a must-have uh obviously i have the uh the steel pots and pans and stuff like that but i could do without those if, if it came down to what i actually had to have these are easy they can go out to the grill they can cook in the oven, they're just a whole lot more flexible. So cast iron cookware, one of my definite must-haves. You gotta have some good knives. And I'm not saying go out and spend three, four, five hundred dollars on knives. I've seen people spend, you know, three hundred dollars on one knife. Uh, the knives that I have, I'm always conscious of the price. This is called Sabatier or something like that along those lines. I really don't know how to pronounce it. All I know is that's a good knife set. It comes with, you know, few different type of knives in it for all different kinds of uh, cook preparations has like a little knife like that uh, a knife I've been using a lot more lately is a knife that was sent to me by a, a company called Kuma uh, this knife is very inexpensive I'm gonna leave a link to the Kuma knives in the uh, description below but uh, I've probably been using this knife uh, even more than the knives in this block lately uh, but regardless of what type of a knife you go with or what kind of a brand if anything you're going to need one good chef knife if if nothing else if you can find uh, you know a block with a bunch of knives in it you know at a good price go ahead and knock that out so that's another kitchen must-have item for me these next products have nothing to do with cooking, but they probably put in more work than just about anything in the kitchen. Uh, this Ninja coffee maker, this thing is the bomb right here. If you have a Keurig coffee maker and it goes out or you just want to make a change or something like that, look into this Ninja right here. You want some deep, dark, roast kind of a coffee, you cannot beat this thing right here. Anyway, this is one of the kitchen must-haves. Myself, I don't drink as much coffee as my wife. But I did uh, get sent this Minos espresso maker uh, probably about three weeks ago. And this espresso maker did a better job of making espresso than this big old espresso machine that I have that I eventually uh, gave away. This is some good espresso. As a matter of fact, if you're looking for uh, an espresso maker, 15% off through Minos, coupon code, NHBBQC15. I'm going to put a link to all Mino's products in the description below as well as that coupon code. But this thing right here, this makes some good espresso. So air fryers are pretty new to my list. I've only been using them for about a couple years. So a couple years ago, I bought this T Fowl Actifry. This thing has been putting in a lot of work, uh, putting out some good food. One thing I didn't realize was I had this old school, like, this is called an air roaster. The only reason it's not called an air fryer is because it came out before that term was even used. So I probably may not have bought the Actifry air fryer had I known about this uh, gym that I had sitting in my cabinets. And, you know, I only really used it as a slow cooker, but uh, this Actifry puts out some good product. This here is probably a more well-rounded uh, air fryer, but either way, an air fryer, no matter what brand you use or whatever, I think they come in handy. The reason I like the air fryer is you can knock out just small quantities of food without having to, uh, you know, throw stuff on your stove or in your oven. If you're in the military or if you're in college, this I would take above a microwave because you could do everything 
not everything, you can't heat up like coffee or anything like that, but you can cook a lot more stuff in this than you can in a microwave. So the air fryers made it to my list as a no hippie barbecue kitchen must have. Other products that have kind of made it onto my list kind of more recently. I wasn't into slow cooking too much a few years ago, but being on YouTube and trying to come up with other recipes and stuff like that, slow cookers really come in handy. Uh, what I was using as a slow cooker was this uh, Nesco air fryer crock pot kind of a combination. It had its strengths, it had its weaknesses, but since then, Kasori has sent me a dedicated crock pot, and this is a little bit easier to uh, cook in than this, mainly because it has a timer on it, so I don't have to worry about if something's going to get overcooked or not. Slow cooker is definitely something that uh, is new to my list, but I've made some things uh, more recently that I didn't think that you could make in uh, a slow cooker. Anyway, Kasori uh, sent this out to me. If you're looking for a crock pot, I'm going to put a link to uh, their information in the description below as well. Run by there, take a look and see if it's something that uh, you might be interested in. But slow cookers, definitely on the list, is a new addition. So a good blender is a definite must have. I don't know how I ended up with all these blenders. I actually have more that aren't even shown here. Uh, this Oscar right here, this is the workhorse. We have this Ninja. I really don't mess with this that much. Uh, sometimes if I just have smaller stuff, I'll go with this Ninja. Uh, but definitely need a good immersion blender. Preferably one that does detach. You will see some of these getting sold that don't have this detachable thing. And those things just get filthy and nasty. So definitely look for one that uh, has the removable uh, top on it. Uh, like I said, I make a lot of hot sauces, things like that. These blenders put in some work. Like I said, I don't really mess with this Ninja all that much. I hear they're supposed to be the bomb, but uh, to me, this one is the one that puts it in. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So another definite kitchen must have is a good vacuum sealer. This right here is going to save you all kinds of dough. You could vacuum seal up things, throw them in the freezer, they last damn near forever. Anyway, also good for marinades and things like that. So a good vacuum sealer, that's another must have. So last but not least is a good food processor. I prefer the larger bowl food processors, but the small ones work fine as well. I really don't use this for other than just chopping up vegetables and things like this. I've used these attachments maybe a couple times, like if I needed to shred some potatoes. Uh, but I, actually, you know, shred potatoes and cheese, that's really the only thing I've used these blades for. But a good food processor is going to come with a, a number of different blades. Uh, they come with it as well as some of them are actually going to have like a like a pasta blade or, or something to make bread or something like that with it. I've never used it for that, but I do need a good food processor. Anyway, those are my top eight kitchen must-haves. Thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.